Welcome to the show. I'm Larry White, the host of Larry White Outdoors, and today we're on the Coosa River below Logan Martin Dam, and we're going to uh, see about catching some catfish. Got some young fellers here that uh, tell me they know how to do this, so we're going to find out in just a minute. Stick around, I believe you'll like this. Welcome back to the show. Uh, today we're on the Coosa River and got one of my fishing buddies, Keith Wilson, here and he brought a couple of his sons along. We're going to do some catfish today without a fishing pole. Now Keith has rigged up these uh, little kind of like styrofoam floats here with a drop line on there. We're going we're gonna to bait these things up with some worms and throw them out right here in the river. The turbines are not on at this time, and the water's not moving very fast, and we're going to let these things float down the river. We're going to put about 20 of them out and uh, see if we can't get a bunch of catfish going here, bobbing these things up and down. And Keith said he caught some the other day doing this, so we're going to have to find out. Is that right? We caught a few down on Martin last yesterday, but they was a little bit slow, but I believe, the, believe it's going to work. Well, really, when you can do this anywhere, in any lake or river or pond or whatever. Just put you some floats out and uh, bait them up. Chase them down with the boat when the fish gets on there. They'll bob around and take off. And you catch a lot of small squealers and sometimes you catch a big fish and you catch all kind of stuff. Sometimes you catch a big brim or maybe even a bass or something. The main thing is don't leave these in the water when you, when you get through fishing with them. Pick these things up and take them out of the water. Don't leave a mess in the water. Uh, don't litter the river. Uh, this is this is a fun way to take some kids out and have a good time. I, these old men might have a good time too, so let's just see what we'll do. We'll bait some of these up and put them out and see what we'll do. Okay, now we got this thing baited up with a worm here, and we got it about four and a half feet deep. We're just going to pitch it out there in the water. Let it float. Now it'll lay flat, and if a fish gets on it, it'll tip down and stand up and start bobbing eyes on everything that's going on and uh, watch all these floats and keep and keep them pretty close together. Know how many we got. This water's only about six feet deep so we don't want to we don't want to run these real deep. So we'll just take shorten them up a little bit. Line up under this little wire here and have it about that deep. Put another worm on there and let her go. What do you think about this, Austin? Pretty good. I like that. You like the idea, huh? Mm -hmm. Now you, now you pretty sure you be, you'll be able to grab one of these and pull the fish up. I try to. Okay. Me in. I ain't gonna let him pull you in. Mm -hmm. All right, we're just gonna bait them up and pitch them out. Get the get the cat. I mean, get the worm smell in the water. There. Now these fish are, some of them are capable of pulling this thing under. Hopefully, wild if it's a pretty big fish. But the buoyancy of this float is going to be pulling against that fish all the time. If you ever stop swimming, it's going to pull him back to the top. So if we get a really big fish on here, unless he goes under something and gets it hung up, uh, we're just going to have to let the float wear him out, and we'll just keep chasing it until you get it. Big one or two, but mostly we're fishing for just squid, real small fish. And mostly we just want these boys to have a good time chasing them. I got, I got some over here, and we're going to stay pretty close together. Uh oh. Uh, you help me watch them now, because we got them all over the place out here. And we're going to have to chase them down with a trolling motor. And there's one. Thank you. Yeah, there we go. Right, right behind you. 
Yeah. There you go. Well, we let it go. The last float back up. Put out. See? You still got it. All right, let's go check. I've already got one dancing. Nope, I think he got off. Yeah, but he's not standing up now. Okay. You know something, Austin? This may be on there. Let's go check it. All right, you just keep your eye on that thing. Let's, let's yeah, he's still on there. I see him down there. All right, now you just get that, get that thing up. All right, how about that? That's a little squealer here. That ain't no problem. All right. One to nothing, boys. <laughs> you got two out there jumping. Good. Yeah, I got two. There's another one right there, boy. Yeah. Bring up. Yeah, we got to keep these ones in. See what we got there. Got another little squealer. All right, got him a little. This is pretty good, eh? That's a little bit better. Now, I'm going to tell you, these are little blue cats. He says, let me go. And they talk. They've got some really sharp spines on them, and they're really thin. So, you have to be We'll get us a mess of these. Now, that's a catfish fry. We got two just cutting up out there. Look at them. Boy, look at them dancing. Get them out of here. Hey, we got two of them. All right, now. I'm going to go ahead and throw that one out. All right. Take it easy now. When you do that, you 
get that slow up. Man, we got two We're just going to get one, then I'll get the other one right All right, are you ready? Boy, he just about took it all the way out. All right, this is a solar motor just a little bit faster than mine. Show you the difference. All right, here's the other one right over here. There you go. I got an eyeball. Right over there. That light. All right, Brian, get up there and get it. Yeah, I got it. Look at it. Let's try that one up there right quick. Better grab it. Oh, he got off. He got off. How's he down? Yeah. We'll do better the next time. We did. Alright, let me get this one off right here. Let's see. Don't talk. He's talking. Oh, this one's talking too, isn't he? Ooh, he's bleeding. Now, this is a little channel cat. Now, this is what we're fishing for, is little squealers like this, a little small catfish. These are good to eat, easy to catch, and a lot of fun. A lot of fun, bud. Alright? Channel cat. He's kind of a gold and brown. The others were caught with blue cats. Look at that one. Look, well, that's not ours, that's his. Oh. We got another one out here on the oh. dance floor. We finna go on out here and see what we... See if we can't get a hold of him. Okay. I believe that one right there gonna be a little bit better than the rest of them, he sort of cat on the now, sometimes cat you float catch a pretty good size water. catfish doing this. A two or three pounder. Ooh, he's still on there. If it, there we go, there we go, Austin, we got one. <laughs> hey, we got one too. Come up here, stand by me. Oh yeah, that right there, acting like he's a little bit sporty. All right, they got, they gonna have to chase that one down there. Well, we might. We're going we're gonna see if we can catch up with him anyway. He almost got in that other one right there, but he turned. Mm -hmm. Maybe he's right. right, This one right it. here. Oh, but he's taking off. I might get you close enough to grab oh, the float if we don't go on there and off. You better loop it. Wait a minute, we get All there. Right. Right. You got, got another little old channel boat. cat right here. Wait a the boat. Just about to yep. ride each no side. Okay. Hey, good. What'd you get? This right here. We got, got another one. little old channel cat. We got a channel Just cat about too. the right side. Brian, I'm gonna let you put that one right there in the live well for. We got another little channel cat there. They got one a little bigger, but I really have these little ones. You and you really have a little one. <laughs> We'll take whatever size we can get. There's one, there's one, Austin. Right, stand right up here by me, let me hold you. Okay, I just don't like this Yeah, these little squealers. Yeah, well, I probably got several, I ain't got any bait. We're gonna check some bait too, but we got one on this one right here. I believe he's gonna get tangled up in that other one, Austin. No, mm -hmm. oh, he's going away from it. Let me let me get around him. He's most worn is he's trying to get hot. Wait till I tell you. Okay. Alright, let this go. Let this hang down. Alright, dip him up. Dip him up. Easy now. Swing him over him. Alright. It's another channel there. Alright, hop down. Yeah, boy, we getting some little old bitty tiny ones here. Still got our worm on there. All right, let me put that one okay, right back talking. out. He's talking. He's trying to get out. He's to Another little channel cat. This is real squealers here.
hell I said we oh, can't. Look at they got one. Oh, that, that's there. Yeah, yeah. I'll look try out, to get you up next to it. From back there. Look, let's see what they got there. Oh, got him. All right. Another little squealer. Fry him whole. Got another little squealer there. Let's see if Brian get that and off the hook. Save the bait. All right. Okay, Austin, I think I saw this one go under. Yep, there it goes. It's moving around. I'm gonna get him. All right. See if you can get that little fella. Probably a little squirrel. Yeah, he's just got it a bounce in there. It's like a piece of jam. Alright, see what you can do with him. Scoop him up. Alright, swing him over here. Mm -hmm. Swing him over here. Alright, step down off the. Alright. Now then. If I can get a hold of them without getting thin. Get thin, that hurts. Ooh, I mean it hurts. Now this is a just a small squealer channel cat. We got some little blue cats. But these are very good fish to fry whole. If you like little whole catfish. I love these little bitty ones whole. And uh, it's a good way to spend a afternoon or a morning with some kids and have a good time. Now this boat's a little bit hard to handle here. You, you, you'll be better off with a smaller boat, uh, aluminum boat or something. But uh, what, do you, what do you think about this, Austin? Is this a pretty good way to fish? Mm -hmm. Pretty you, good to you, me. You like to catch these? I, I thought so. Twice. Don't have to do any casting or anything, you know. That you don't. even longer. I thought I would just catch her on peak two. <laughs> so, don't let this opportunity slip by here. Grab you up a couple of kids and put them in a boat and fix you up some bottles like this. Get you a can of worms and go down there and throw them in the creek somewhere and just follow them down the creek. Just sort of keep them bunched up out there and uh, let these kids watch them and tell you when they go under and pull them up and catch them and have a big time and then go home and have a good fish fry. So till next time, I guess we'll see you on the water.